what is up welcome back to my channel it's great to have you here today is a super fun day because I'm going to be doing this makeup look side note I do have a dip different lip at the end of the video just letting you know this is just something else I have on for the moment but back to the main point today's exciting because I am doing a matte brown smoky eye and this is the overall look that I do end up with and it is just super just very feminine yet professional and very girly but very just like um I don't even know how to describe like a matte brown smoky eye because with the shimmers it's kind of like hey party shimmery fun but with matte it's more just like professional and just it makes you just feel a little bit more like a like a woman I guess just with that matte brown because if you, you see a lot of matte brown smoky eyes and like a lot of celebrities lives and like a lot of TV shows and stuff that's just like the standard go-to and it's super e super it's super easy to achieve but also I would like to mention a special giveaway contest that I am doing now I am in a partnership right now with Yord Watches is spelled J-O-R-D but it's pronounced Yord Watches and this is my beautiful watch that they sent me and it is really gorgeous they are handmade wooden watches and they are just so unique and they have so many different styles and colors and this is the Cassid Cassia Ebony and Sable and it just clicks on so well and it's just super pretty but um, I'm doing a giveaway with them so you can win a hundred dollars off of your watch that's right a hundred dollars it's like so much money off and so that's like about 50 percent or whichever watch you choose i'm going to link that contest down below and all you have to do is put your email down and pick out which watch is your favorite and so it's super easy to enter but yeah definitely do it if you didn't see my instagram post um about this already then you can go follow me the contest ends on july 8th at 11 59 p.m and i will do some more announcements on my instagram to remind you of that but yeah so just go enter to win um i would really appreciate it because i really do love this watch i love watches i love jewelry and fashion and everything and they just kind of go with everything and they're very just professional kind of like this eye look that we're doing today so before i did the video i went ahead and did my actual foundation and i put on some concealer and i did my brows and then i kind of just set my face but i used um, some Too Faced foundation and some shape tape concealer and i just did my brows with my little l'oreal brow, brow pencil so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes and don't forget to enter that contest and subscribe but we're gonna go ahead and get rolling I just went in and put on a teensy weensy bit of concealer on my lids just so it would have just a nice little setting base and now I am going to go ahead and start. So y'all I really do think today's look is going to be pretty easy to achieve and it's not going to be hard to follow at all and so today first I'm going to go in the shade birthday suit it's by Morphe it's just like a light neutral shade and I'm going to take that and dust that um with a fluffy brush and we're just going to take that and kind of cover the lid and almost use this as just like a setting powder to that concealer that we have and just to kind of provide a neutral base because we're about to go hard with some browns okay we're gonna move it into a little bit of a darker shade and this is the shade cream brulee and it's also by morphe and i'm going to take that same brush and we are going to dust that around and then we're going to put that in the crease of our eye just kind of lightly just like dust it it's not like too much of a it's not like a really chocolatey brown it's cream brulee so it's a little bit more neutrally brown so how's everyone's day going i feel like i just get on here sometimes and just kind of just do my thing and don't i'm not very like interesting because i don't do anything exciting so let's let's talk how are y'all i wish we could kind of talk back and forth and we're done I'm just kidding but this is a nice little base that we have going on here okay now we're gonna get into some more exciting stuff okay y'all I'm gonna go in this shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette this let's see if I can tap it this dark medium not dark it's like a medium brown shade it has somewhat of a red undertone and I'm gonna take that with just like a semi fluffy brush and I am gonna put that straight up in the crease of my eye and just be kind of light with it because it is a little bit darker so now we've just taken that brown shade and just kind of put it all in the crease of our eye and it's just looking really 
deep and almost like rounded out. I'm going to go into this dark brown shade that I normally use for my eyebrows. I love this shade. It's one of my most used shades probably in this whole palette. And I'm just going to take that and we're going to put that on the outer corner in the outer crease. So we're just going to really start to add that definition to that outer corner. this look was going to be super easy and it really is. So now we're going to start to kind of lighten things up going towards the center of the eye because we're going to start doing that like ombre out look. I'm going to go into the shade. It's just called matte. I don't know if they left off the name by Morphe. It also says ES110 under there and I'm going to take that with just this smaller precision-y brush even though precision doesn't matter all that much in this case and we're just going to start working that on the overall lid just because it's just this light lighter neutrally um, brown shade and it's just going to soften it up going towards the center of the eye because remember this is a smoky eye that we're shooting for but we still want it to have somewhat of a lighter effect going towards the inner eye Okay, y'all, I cleaned off that little precision brush, and now we are getting to the end. Um, I'm going to take this shade Decade in the KKW palette, and if you remember, I used this in my matte smoky eye look for the Old Hollywood Glam, because I just think this is one of the perfect, just like light, almost cream-colored uh, matte shades that I have. And so we're going to take that and just dab that in that inner corner just to brighten it up a little. And you'll see it really does blend well into that neutral matte shade that we used from Morphe. But it's just slightly going a little bit lighter. We're also going to bring that down a little bit into just that inner corner um, going down a little bit just to kind of brighten it all the way on the inner corner. I'm going to take that also a little bit and put that on my brow bone. Even though it's not going to really provide a shine, it's just going to kind of lighten it and hopefully cover these ugly hairs that I need to pluck. Okay, well, now we're going to do the under bottom lash line. And I'm going to go back into that dark brown shade that we used earlier, one of my favorite shades. And we're just going to take that with a little precision pencil looking brush and wipe that under that bottom lash line and it's just kind of going to smoke it out to really make that whole round smokiness effect I'm also going to get good <laughs> I'm also going to go back into that shade matte with that same precision brush and we're going to go also on the bottom lash line but we're just going to do the inner circle, inner corner going towards where we have that light decade shade and just kind of blend it out into that darker smoky. Now what would a smoky eye be if I didn't go in with my Urban Decay Perversion 24-7 Glide On Pencil and I'm just going to line the water lines. I'm trying to do this like with one hand so I can film it otherwise I have to like bend over but now I'm going to do the top. I can't do that with one hand. I don't see how some booty, booty, some beauty gurus just like shove it up in there. I have to like flip it up. I don't mind touching my eye though because I put contacts in every day. Woo. Now I'm going to take this Urban Decay Razor Sharp liner, liquid liner, and um, I'm just going to line the top of my lash line. I'm not going to do a wing liner. But this is just going to make it easier for when I go in with some falsies to where you can't see. Ah, why did I mess up? I just took that liquid liner and put that on the tops of my eyelids. And so if it's going to dry, it's a little, it hasn't fully dried on this side yet, but it's going to overall have that matte, more matte finish. And I'm going to curl my lashes just super quickly just to kind of get them raised up because they're a little flat right now. And now before I put on my falsies, I'm just going to kind of go over 
really quickly with some Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte. I've really been loving this lately. Ooh, I forgot that I have on um, a, like a lash conditioner from Rodan and Fields and forgot to put that on this morning. <laughs> LOL. For lashes today, I'm going to be going in with these Lily Lashes for the Sephora collection. And these are their London Lashes. These are the ones if you've seen my TJ Maxx haul. I got these at TJ Maxx for $8. And so we're going to see what these are all about. I actually have not even tried these yet, but I'm really, really excited to. Okay, y'all, if you can tell, I just went in and put on those Lily Lashes. And I love these. Like, I wish I would have got these a long time ago. I'm probably going to go order some off their website now because they just feel like so noise like so much better than other ones that I've been using anyway we're gonna go ahead and contour our face real fast I'm gonna go in with this Hoola Benefit bronzer just because it's a really pretty and solid matte shade and we're just gonna go around the face and just contour nicely And I know this is more of a matte look, and it is a matte look, but we're going to take a little bit of highlighter in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go in that first shade right here. I'm just going to take that and put a little bit on my cheekbones just to kind of brighten it. Not too much. Which I feel like with a matte eye, and even if you have like a shimmery face, it kind of does balance really well, so it's okay. For lips today, I'm going to be doing a couple of different things. Um, I wanted to do like a berry originally, and then I was like, no, a nude. And so we're going to kind of just play around a little bit. I'm going to go in with this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint in the shade Moody. And it's just, oh no, not that. <laughs> Don't do that, baby. Okay, well, I've had this for like a really long time, and it honestly just feels like a chapstick. You know I normally go in with Vaseline before I put on any kind of liquid lip, but um, we're going to take this Velvet Liner Lip Pencil in the shade Deep Nude by Victoria's Secret. I love all of their lip products. They all are just super creamy and beautiful. And we're going to line our lips just lightly. It's going to be a little bit lighter than this. And I know ideally you'll put this on first, but I wanted to put that on first just because it kind of makes it just easier for things to go on because it's like chapstick. Or Vaseline. And now this wasn't my original plan, but I think I'm going to take this lip pencil and fill in my entire lip. And go straight over that lip tint that we used. Almost leaves you with like this little berry looking nude. And I like what I just created. That looks nice. I was going to do more things to the lips, but honestly, I really like where we're at in this point of my lip life, so yeah. And I know we said no shimmer, but I was really thinking about the eyes, and I just want to go in with a little bit of blush, and I'm going to use this CoverGirl blush in the shade, what shade, Soft Mink, and I'm just going to take that and put a little bit on my cheeks, just because I feel like that will balance out that brown, and then this like nudie pink lip shade we have and it's just gonna make it really pretty okay y'all that was it for today's video thank you so much for watching this is the final look that we have it's just kind of like a soft everyday smoky brown matte eye that you can wear anywhere it's very professional and sophisticated yet also very like girly and fun and feminine because it is a smoky eye and I love a good smoky eye. I think I'm going to do a grayish black smoky eye on here, like a traditional smoky eye, but I'm waiting on a certain palette to come out. This is Jaclyn Hill because I've seen the colors and I just really want to play with it. So yeah, we're just going to wait on that. I really do like this look. This is just something that I do a lot because it's just very, very easy to get and it's also very everyday smoky. So yeah, let me know what else you would like to see on this channel. I'm open to all kinds of new ideas, and I cannot wait to get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, press that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!